Stadiums are a great place to be in, especially when a football game is on. The football is closer, the energy is insane and contagious, and stadiums are just generally beautiful. Um, not all though. There are some really weird stadiums all over the world. In fact, let us quickly take a look at the nine weirdest stadiums in world football. Number one, Estadio Hernando Siles. The Hernando Siles Stadium is the biggest stadium in Bolivia. It was named after the country's 31st president. The stadium, which has existed since 1930, sits at nearly 12,000 feet above sea level, and so it is unsurprisingly one of the highest stadiums in the world. That altitude makes it crazy to play in, especially for visiting teams who only have a few days to acclimatize to it before they play. The stadium was banned for FIFA World Cup qualifying games in May 2007 after FIFA declared stadiums higher than 8,200 feet above sea level unfit for World Cup qualifiers to be played. That limit was later raised to nearly 10,000. But there were protests from influential figures, including the president of Bolivia at the time and even Diego Maradona. So FIFA lifted the ban on Estadio Hernando Siles and allowed World Cup qualifiers to be played there again. In 2017, Neymar posted a picture of his Brazilian teammates with oxygen masks as they prepared for their 2018 World Cup qualifying game in the stadium. He mentioned that it was inhumane that players were forced to play under these conditions. Number 2. Vozdovac Stadium this stadium located in Serbia is also called the Stadion Shopping Center and you won't believe why. It's not because there's a shopping center in the stadium, it's because the stadium was built on a shopping center. The stadium is on the fourth floor but somehow it still complies with UEFA standards so one day we may have a crazy European night right on top of a McDonald's and a supermarket. Number 3. TJ Tatranciani Balog Stadium now this is getting really weird. This stadium, which is located in Slovakia, has a railway that runs through the stadium. The rail is wedged between the pitch and the stands, so every now and then during a game, an old-fashioned steam train will majestically wander by. Huge home advantage if you ask us, because as an away team, how could you possibly be prepared for that? Number 4. Timza Arena the Timzar Arena, also referred to as the Bursa Metropolitan Stadium, is the home stadium of Turkish football club Bursa Spor. Bursa Spor's nickname is the Green Crocodiles, so guess what they did with their stadium? Oh yeah, they designed it to look like a croc's mouth. Imagine walking into the mouth of a crocodile to play a very important game as an away team. Bursa Spor must have a great home record. Number 5. The Float at Marina Bay No, it's not just a name, the pitch actually floats, yes, on water. The first question we had when we found out about this is, what happens when the ball goes out of play? But they already put that into consideration and put up a netting around the pitch to protect the ball from going into the water each and every time. This is a very weird stadium, but it seems like it'll be a fun experience playing on this pitch. Scary though, if you're aquaphobic. The floating stadium has a 30,000 capacity and is located in Singapore, but it's not been used for games above the Sunday league level. Number 6. Mabato Stadium the Mambato Stadium is located in Mafikeng and is the fifth largest sports stadium in the whole of South Africa, with a seating capacity of 59,000. For context, that's bigger than Anfield. All of these sound great until you hear that the stands were built facing away from the pitch. How bizarre! What then are we there to watch? No wonder this large stadium was totally ignored for the 2010 World Cup. Number 7. Gospin Dalac while the Stadion Gospin Dolac in Croatia is architecturally intriguing, you have to say it is also pretty bizarre. Behind the stands is a 1,640-foot drop to the Blue Lake, but the BBC named it in its list of the top 10 most beautiful stadiums in the world in 2017, so, you know, who cares about a Blue Lake? Number 8. Estadio Juan Grito Malucelli Now this very stadium might be weird, but we definitely give it props for being green. We don't mean the colours, we mean it's eco-friendly. The first ever eco-friendly stadium in the world. As a matter of fact, we might call it weird now, but it looks like eco-friendly stadiums are the future, and we will be seeing some of these in Qatar. Number 9. Otmar Hitzfeld Guspon Arena We have decided to end this video on a high note, a really high one. And as far as stadiums in Europe are concerned, then the Otmar Hitzfeld Guspon Arena, which sits 6,600 feet above sea level and is surrounded by mountains. Teams and spectators arrive at the stadium in cable cars which hold 25 passengers. As expected, the air is a lot thinner in this stadium and people think it gives the home team an advantage because they're already so used to it. In winter, it's impossible to play in this stadium as it usually is completely covered by snow. So which of these nine stadiums wins the weirdest stadium ever award in your books? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.